Yes, I'm Professor David Shambaugh, and I'm the author of China Goes Global, The Partial Power. The reason I have uh, undertaken the project to write a book about China going global, uh, first of all, is because China has an official policy called uh, Zhou Chu Chu, literally meaning to go out, or Zhou Shang Shi Jie, to go out into the world. Uh, that's been an official policy since uh, the 1990s. Um, and there are quite a number of studies, indeed, on uh, China's rise uh, in the world and um, China's foreign policy, but I wanted to write a slightly different book. I wanted to look at the totality of China's activities in the world, not just the Chinese government, uh, but really Chinese society. I distinguish between foreign policy and foreign relations. Uh, foreign policy is something that governments do pronouncements and, and policies. Foreign relations are the totality of interactions among societies. There's a lot of overestimation of China's impact uh, and the rise of China um, and its influence on world affairs. Um, I think a lot of it is actually exaggerated. There have been some books published in recent years you know, that predict China will rule the world, for example, that's the title of one, or, or um, living in the uh, shadow of China's dominance. These, these kinds of um, titles, anyway, are very catchy. And, but I don't find that we're about to live in the shadow of China's dominance. Uh, I think China actually has a lot of weaknesses, and a lot of fragilities, uh, and that it does not, in fact, possess influence. Influence is the ability to shape events and other countries and other actors. That's the definition of being a power. Um, at least that's the definition that, that many scholars use. And China, I find, is not influencing uh, global events or uh, shaping other countries' actions. Um, so it is not, it's sort of a passive power and it's sort of a lonely power and it's a confused power. If one overestimates China's power, um, uh, one can make policy mistakes and allocate resources, for example, uh, to countering um, a strong China when in fact China may not be that strong or uh, in other, other areas such as culture. Um, you know, some people worry about China's pursuit of soft power, that there's a competition with the United States. But I would argue, in fact, that China has no soft power and has very little global cultural appeal. It's not a magnet. Uh, if you're going to, if you have soft power, uh, if a country has soft power, it means that you attract others to you. They want to emulate you, be like you, and that your uh, culture, whatever type of culture it happens to be, is universal. It, it can uh, travel beyond a country and has appeal uh, beyond a nation state. So I, would, I find in the case of, of soft power uh, that China does not have uh, hardly any soft power in the world. And its hard power, um, which is much discussed, I think is also exaggerated. China's military is a regional power at best in Asia. It has no global power projection capacities except in a couple of important areas. Cyber hacking is one. There, China is a global leader, probably the global leader. Um, ballistic missiles, uh, they can uh, reach anywhere on the planet. And space, actually, China is a global power in space. So these are three important exceptions, but otherwise China's military remains very much a regional power, I would argue.